A key component in Esprit's digital twin for milling is the tool holder. Having accurate tool holders is critical to discover machine over travel or collisions. When the table is upright versus tilted down, the program might require a short or long tool holder for Z-stroke considerations. Or when tilted and working close to the fixture, we want to know if there's potential for collision. So let's get started. Okay, so we want to create a tool holder from Hymer. And if we look at the Hymer website, we see you can go to products, tool holders, and then we'll go to the CAT50. And when you go to CAT50, uh, you can download, you know, they have their different types here. And then you can download um, the step files. You have to have an account. So right now I'm not logged in. I downloaded them over the weekend. But uh, you can log in and then grab the step files here. So just go to, you know, either inch or metric. So we're going to work on some of these right now. And if you want to follow along, you can come to their website and check it out there. So here's the Esprit TNG interface. And what I want to do is on, on my other screen, I'm just going to drag in one of the files. And when I zoom in here, you can see the tool holder is basically aligned along the X axis, and we want it along Z. So we want the Z vector to be pointing up into the machine. So we need to rotate, the, we need to rotate this 90 degrees about the Y axis. So what I can do here is right click and say select all. We can right click again and say copy. And I'm just gonna say rotate. Um, so typically I'm a hotkey guy, I'm going to say move 90 degrees, I'm going to uncheck, use the origin, make sure that you uncheck that, and then I'm going to say OK and pick the Y axis, and I'm going to hit, uh, click somewhere to ungroup it, and then hit F4, F4 on my keyboard, the F4 key, and that goes into this view here, which shows me that the Z is going up into the spindle, which is what I want, and the front of the where the tool you know, is going to begin its overhang value is going to be here, the end of the tool holder. So now what I can do is go to manipulation and use the new command, the modify work plane command, which is the top one in your list. So at the bottom of the, of the icon, there's a little arrow there and that shows me all of the choices I have. I wanna pick this top one and then I'm just gonna click on the Z axis and that's gonna slide the UVW, and if I rotate, you can see no matter where I go, it's forced to stay on the Z axis. So you can zoom in and you can pick either a point on the face or a center. I'm going to go back to the F4 view, but what I like to do is just save myself a step, not even change the view. And as I move this along, I can pick that front edge point right there. And I know when I do that, that it's at the center. I'm going to come here and I'm going to say, let's add a tool adapter position, TA underscore one, TA underscore one for tool adapter position. And I'm going to say enter. And then I'm just going to click off the screen here, say file, save as. We're going to come down here and say a tool holder type of file. You see, I already did a bunch of these. Save it, and that's it. Uh, we're going to do this one more time real quick. Uh, bring in a new one. This particular holder here, I believe, is one of their collet holders. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave it grouped. I'm going to say copy, rotate, hotkey, control C, and then R, and then move 90 degrees, uncheck the origin, Y axis. I'm going to ungroup it, F4. I'm going to come up to manipulate, modify, or um, uh, yeah, modify work plane, and then just move it over to that, you know, pick the, the W, the blue vector, move it over to the front of the part, and we're good to go. So on this one, though, I like to change some of the colors because, um, you know, they have a certain look to them on the, uh, you know, in real life on the web page. So what I'm going to do here is 
you can grab solids, but what I'm going to do is change my filter, and that's this first one here. And I'm just going to undo everything, and then you can see here that we can pick different things here. And I'm going to pick the face command, and when I do that, I can zoom in left to right on these faces. And if I go left to right, that's going to grab anything that's in the box. If I go right to left, it's going to only grab what's completely in the box. So I can go like this, and then in real life, this one, this one, and this one, using holding the control key down to add those to the group. And then I'll just right click again and say copy attribute, and I'm going to pick black, but I'm going to pick a lighter shade of black. You know, any anything between 80 and 90 seems to look pretty good. And we can now save this holder. Uh, actually, sorry, I forgot to create the tool adapter position. So TA underscore one, enter, click away. And then we're going to come to file, save as, and we will come here to GDML as a tool GDML, uh, sorry, a holder files GDML, save that, add that to my list. And we are ready to use this on the machine. Okay, so here I have my machine, and I'm going to take a look at this first tool here. This is an allied one and a quarter drill, and uh, not really sure what the spindle is. This is one of the sample machines in the uh, sample folder. So you can load this machine or use whatever machine you're using. Um, so this looks like a smaller spindle. I'm going to I already did all the cat 40s so I'm going to come here and expand this and this is using the default tool holder so if I double click that we can edit that and I'll come to the folder open that up and I'll come to the Heimer folder here I'll double click that go to cat and then here under 40 that was a one and a quarter so this is the one and a quarter here and let me move this over and if you're wondering how I have this preview in the Windows open command um, you, you have this control up here. You have this uh, little icon that it will switch between a single screen and a split screen. When you have the split screen active, it actually does the preview of all the GDMLs that you have, which is nice. So you can kind of take a look at it before you actually load it. And when I say open, we see that tool holder will open and then I'll come in and because this was done, uh, you know, with an extension here built into the tool on the, the little holder tab for the tool. I'm just going to set that to zero and then make both of those equal to three inches. And that will reset that tool so that it's sitting with the overhang of the tool at the front of the holder instead of uh, the front of that extension diameter that was set inside of the tool. So, you know, doing this on any of these, you know, this is a three-quarter thread mill. Uh, this is a one-inch drill. Uh, well, let's see here. We got a three-eighths bull nose or ball nose. Um, so if I go and I look at this tool, there it is in the spindle. I can come in here. That was a three-eighths. So we'll look for a three-eighths here. Uh, here's a three-eighths. So we've got a, a three-eighths right here. You know, there's different lengths. Um, Heimer has their lengths you know set differently here's a really long one so we'll pick that one see what it looks like and then we see that extension again coming into play so since we have a real holder here um, we can go in and just edit that on the extension the little tool holder tab looking icon there and set that to zero and then we'll make these both equal to one and a half and we can see that that tool is updated uh, for the new holder so that is all that you really have to do to create GDML uh, holder files for the Heimer products. And hopefully this video helps you make uh, more accurate and better looking digital twins.